still got a good game going ahead of us. At their own 26-yard line. The Charger drive about to get going. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. You got and the pass to Henry is intercepted. Picked off at the 28. And he will bring this back. It's a pick six and a Raven touchdown. Coaches preach all the time about opportunities and taking advantage of them, and he did exactly that. I used to have a coach told us all the time, a lost opportunity is never regained. Well, no regrets here. He picked that one off and took it to the house. Tucker with the extra point, and we've got a tie game here in a back-and-forth first half. And Tucker is a kickoff for Baltimore. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. An incredibly short kick fielded way up there. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. In a tie game, both sides are looking for something to give them an advantage. It often falls back on special teams. And that return, that could be the spark to untie the game. Chargers in good field position to start out. First and 10 at the 40. Flush to his right. Trying to force it to Allen, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Marlon Humphrey. And they take possession two yards away from midfield at the 48-yard line. The Ravens take over first and 10 at the 48-yard line. They go play action now. Jackson, he's going deep for Brown. This is caught. And he is into the end zone for a Baltimore touchdown. Marquise Brown with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Ravens have taken the lead. Now he's having a nice little first half here, partner. And it's a first half that leaves us anticipating what can still come. I mean, two touchdowns already here through the second quarter. There could be plenty more before this game is over. Justin Tucker is the kickoff for ball. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. Very short kick. This will be now a hit and a loose football. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. And it's picked up by the Ravens. And careless with a football there on the kick return. And one thing I love about going to practices is trying to get around coaches and hear their catchphrases and what they really emphasize. We haven't been to a single one yet this year where a guy fielding a kick, you don't hear, tuck it away, tuck it away, tuck it away. And this time, they turned it over. Ball security eluded him. And to put it mildly, this is a tough spot defensively. They have to come right back out and defend their red zone. But how about that good first step towards forcing them to settle for at least three points? I think they're also thinking bigger right now. Imagine being able to stop them totally and change the momentum. Second and 10. Here's Jackson again. Flushed out right. And he will reach the five-yard line before going out of bounds. Lamar Jackson, such a threat with those legs, able to improvise and get the first. First and goal at the five. From the gun, it's Jackson. That's complete right around the eight. No gain there on the completion. It'll be second down. The line of scrimmage once again, the five, as they get ready for second and goal. Leads to second and goal. And that's complete to his running back, J.K. Dobbins. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Ravens touchdown. Touchdown. A five-yard touchdown. And the Ravens will extend their lead. And that's certainly an important score right there because they gave themselves a two-score cushion heading towards halftime. Now you got to force the other team out of their comfort zone, and it changes the way you approach the second half as well. How you want to do things on offense, and your defense feels much better too, having that lead. Justin Tucker to kick off for Baltimore. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. An incredibly short kick fielded way up there. And they've got it up past the 35, so pretty good starting field position. At their own 36-yard line. 
The Charger drive about to get going. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. The throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. He was looking for his tight end, Hunter Henry. And that'll bring up second down. It's second down and ten. They'll try again from the 36 on second and 10. To throw again, Herbert. And on the left sideline, he caught it, but out of bounds, according to the headlinesman. Incomplete, so the ball a little late getting there, and it's third down. Marcus Peters on the coverage. face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions from the gun Herbert he's gonna look for Allen now on the deep ball on Herbert his third interception picked off at the 18 and his guys have got it back at the closing stages of the first half at their own 17 yard line The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. Time for a final kneel down or a safe run, and then they can head to the locker room with a lead. Yeah, or they can even run a screen. You know, something they feel is somewhat safe that might actually pop and turn into a big play, that's what you usually run in this situation. Or go four verticals because why not? Because you're feeling it, right? You're just feeling it. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. The Ravens ready to receive it. And they've got the lead as well as we resume play in the second half. Fielded near the back of the end zone. And we will not see a return to start the half as this will be a touchback. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. He'll start with a handoff to Dobbins. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. But we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. Trying for Brown, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Kaiser White, and he brings it back to right around the 26-yard line. But pretty much everything went their way offensively in the first half, but now an interception on the opening drive of the third quarter. As we know, the key to everything here, don't get careless with the football. The problem is you've got to stay aggressive as well, so where's the line between being aggressive and attacking and being overly aggressive? I think they just crossed it on that one. Well, that's into the hands of Eckler. Nothing on that one. It'll be second down. That's a nice job defensively to make sure everyone was accounted for because ordinarily you pick up the guys downfield and sometimes you forget about the running back. In this case, they did not and dropped him for no gain. the completed pass but for no gain stopped right at the line so it's second and ten off the play fake to Eckler it's Herbert he's gonna go up top for the end zone back of the end zone could he get his feet down no it's incomplete Allen the intended receiver and it's third down over the dime look on defense two extra defensive backs on the field and covered up essentially every blade of grass that allowed them to disrupt the play This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Operating from the gun, Herbert. And the throw there gonna be incomplete. They certainly had good starting field position on that drive, but couldn't do anything with it after three plays. Have to admit that that's a disappointing end to excellent field position. 
When that drive started, they had six points that they were thinking about. Michael so on fourth down, on comes the Charger kicker, Michael Badgley. On the right hash, it's a 43-yard attempt. And that is no good. And this score will stay right where it is. Down here in the third quarter, obviously that's one they could have used. Yeah, one of my favorite special teams coaches in the NFL told me what separates the kickers in the NFL versus the ones who are not is not the misses. It's the second miss in a row. Best kickers in the league, they don't miss two in a row. He's got to get his head back together in case he gets another shot. Baltimore offense at the line set to get going and following the interception just any interception are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive or no you just throw that out the window I think you are I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go ah totally didn't affect me let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again you're going to take care of it but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all don't want to attack we'll see how they attack them here three yards on that last carry here's second and seven off the play fake here's Jackson Chargers able to get the pressure and bring him down. Joey Bosa able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. Brings up third down. Play action. It's Jackson. Under pressure again, and down he goes again. Joey Bosa giving him once again his third sack of the afternoon. Here we go on fourth down with Jackson. Steps away to his left. And they hit him as he throws, as this one's going to go straight down to the turf. Incomplete. Boy, a real head scratcher there. And the Chargers will get the football back in excellent field position. This is a counter play, Eckler, and not a lot of daylight, not really any daylight inside as he's going to be stopped right at the line of scrimmage. Brings up second down. We're in Baltimore, third quarter action, second and ten. From the gun, Herbert. He'll get this to Eckler. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. Oh, I came to my feet on that one. I thought he was getting close to breaking that one big. But in the end, give some credit to the defense. Finding a way to get to him and forcing a third down. Herbert wants to throw it on third and one. And he's going to go down. Back at the 27-yard line, he sacked. Patrick Queen drops him for a loss of 10. And it's going to be fourth and long. field goal. A 44-yard attempt. Badgley able to knock this one through. And that will get the disadvantage now back down to 11. So he missed that field goal earlier, but he says not this time. Able to knock it through, give his guys three. I like his poise. I like his confidence, his belief in himself. Sometimes when you miss that first one, you see a lot of guys sag, and they can't make the next one. Not in this case. Stepped right up like a pro. Long converted the field goal. Now he handles the kickoff duties. That's fielded on the back line of the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. At their own 19-yard line. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. Now they've got the lead here getting late into the third quarter. And the passing game for them, it's been terrific. We've seen that. But the rushing game, almost non-existent. And with the lead and trying to finish this game off, they need the running game to come back to life. They need to get sparked out. That he's into the clear. He's at the 50. He's at the 30. 20. And all the way in for a Ravens touchdown. J.K. Dow.